The name's Haruhiro Katase. My father ran a bar, and thanks to him, I also run a bar. I provide rare Japanese sake that my father buys, and a lot of regulars come by to drink at my bar. Haruhiro-kun? The usual, please. Sure thing! This is one of the oldest regulars, Hayami-san. I don't know what he does, but he comes here every once in a while. Here you go! Thanks. Yeah. The sake here is really something else. By the way, I've got some rare sake today. How about it? My father basically hugged it when it came in. Your father did that, huh? I'd love to try some. I would talk to my customers while casually chatting about nothing. I would enjoy this today and tomorrow. Or so I thought. In the warehouse. Ah! You've definitely broken some bones. You'll have to stay in the hospital for a month. B but I've got to close up shop for a month. And it's not like I could just suddenly start working again after I get out of the hospital either. Don't be too upset. The bones will fix up fine. Unlike the relationship between my wife and I. <laughs> That's not funny! Uh, I don't want to be in the hospital for a month. I'm going to be so bored. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be handling your case. My name is Akine Miyamura. Oh, nice to meet you. All right, I'll be back around dinner time to check on you. Okay. You have great luck! Uh, me? Who else would I be talking to? You know that that nurse is a beautiful girl known around these parts, right? She's honest and hardworking, but she's kind of unfriendly, and it's so perfect! Uh-huh... I tried my best to get her to be on my case, but I can't get it to work! Honestly, I'm okay with dying, but I wish she'd be on my case! <laughs> Uh, uh, your blood pressure! Nurse! Nurse! Come on, Akine-chan! It's time for your dinner, Katase-san. Thanks. Three days went by after I started staying in the hospital. I started figuring out ways to kill time, and it wasn't too bad after all. I started getting used to life in the hospital. It's mostly fish today. Right, thank you. I'll do it. Huh? You've got broken bones. I'm sure it's tough to eat. Say ah. My foot is broken! You don't like me feeding you? No, it's not that, but this isn't about whether I like it or not. Then ah. <laughs> mm, thanks. <sighs> I'll be back around when it's time for rounds. Goodbye. Here to check on your heart. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Do nurses not have better things to do? Uh, you're kind of close. I'm not that close. Huh? Wait, is it really necessary for you to get that close? You must be misunderstanding. I just couldn't hear your heart well. Uh, sorry. Wait, why am I apologizing? No problems. Excuse me. This is not what I was told. She's not unfriendly at all! If anything, she's a little excessive. I don't know why, but she just keeps sticking on to me all the time. What's going on? Then one day... Ah, Miyamura-san's coming to examine me now. Excuse me, I'm gonna check up on you. Yes, please. Lift up your shirt. Uh, okay. Why are they all staring? This is so embarrassing! I can't hear it well. She's closer than before. Wait, what? Don't move. I need to get a good sound on your heart. Right. The exam continued. Alright, we're done for the day. Thanks. Thank you. Also, um, I'm actually not Akine. I'm actually her twin sister, Kaho. There's that super famous twin mix-up! Oh, I love them both! Santo-san, your blood pressure! Calm down! We look identical, don't we? Eh, you two are similar. <laughs> Were you surprised? 
Uh, I was so surprised that I couldn't find the words to say anything. Man, the twin mix-up. Right? I know, I know. By the way, I'm actually on your case too, so you can check the colors of our stethoscopes to tell us apart. Akine is red, and I, Kaho, am blue. Okay. See you later. Huh? No way. Everyone was surprised, but their eyes and freckles, and even their smell were different. Mm, whatever. Afterwards, they kept coming to my room to check on me. Akine-san and Kaho-san did look similar, but their personalities were completely different. You're on duty today, huh? That's right. Let's take your temp, huh? Okay. Can I see the thermometer then? I'll measure for you. Uh, no, no, I just broke the bone in my foot, so I can take my own temp. Oh, come on, it's not a big deal. Don't mind the details and give me control of your body. Oh, my hand. Fine, but at least don't rub my head. Oh, sorry, my hand just started moving on its own. As you can see, the red-eyed sister, Akine, was a mature woman. She had plenty of tolerance to goof around with, and it made you really want to tease her. The green-eyed sister, Kaho, on the other hand... Open your mouth. I can eat on my own. You don't like me feeding you, huh? I don't mind. They're very much the opposite of one another. Kante se san can you not look away? I can't aim well. Uh, sorry. Say ah. Um. All right, I've got work, so eat the rest on your own. Kaho wasn't like her sister at all. She was very sweet and friendly. Put another way, she could have a man wrapped around her finger at any moment. Several weeks went by as I was being nursed back to health, and I was finally able to move using crutches. This is so nice, I can finally move. Hm? Are those the twins? Sorry for calling you two up out of the blue. That's fine. Let's get to the point. Would you two be alright to have lunch? I've got some good lunch imported. No, thank you. We're good. Excuse us. Wait! Ugh. I just saw something... Well, something. What are those eyes? You look like you've seen an injured animal. I'm not the kind of human that needs pity from the likes of you. Right. I'm the professor's son. Do not look down on me. <laughs> what a weirdo. Think... There you go. All done for the day. Thank you. Oh yeah, Sis was talking about getting lunch together today. Lunch? Why would I do that? Oh, it's fine. Who cares about the reason? I'm here too, so come by the nurse's station during lunch. Huh? Wait, what about lunch? I'll prepare it on my end. You really like to decide things on your own. Excuse me. You came all this way on a broken foot, huh? You're the one that called me over. Oh, relax, you. Why do you guys have your stethoscopes on anyway? The colors are opposite. Huh? No, no way. How could you tell? It's more amazing if you can't tell. You're the weird one. You know that we can even fool our parents if we haven't seen them in a while. Really? Seriously? How could you tell? That's... I told them everything that let me tell them apart. So, yeah. That's how I tell you apart. Huh. <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? No, it's not that, but we've had this kind of interaction before too, right? Oh, yeah. I remember. It was when I was in middle school. There were twins who were known for being the toughest delinquents around. Then something happened to them. You can't run now. <laughs> this is the end of the strongest duo, huh? Ugh, run, sis, it's fine. Leave me. What kind of sister leaves behind her younger sibling? I've got to get through this somehow. Get him, boys! Over here! Officer! A fight! A fight is broken loose! Uh, what? We can't handle the cops! Run! Phew. Everyone's big and bad till the cops show up. H hey, what the hell? What do you mean, what the hell? Don't answer my question with a question. Where are the cops? The cops? Oh, that was a lie. If I really called the cops, it'd be annoying to explain everything, you know? Th then why did you... Oh, I see. Thank you. 
I'd like to thank you too. It's really all right. I'm gonna go now. Hang on! What is it? L let's play! I think you'll have fun. I'm not in elementary school. They continued to follow me around after that. People even called me the secret boss of the underworld because of how much they followed me around. And they looked so similar that they would try to fool me often. You know it's really obvious, right? But... No fun. What? The two continued talking about how they wanted me to make them their wives once we got older and whatnot. But eventually, they moved, and we were separated. But I didn't expect to run into them again. <laughs> You're too late to notice. <laughs> Sorry. We've known for a while now. <laughs> we forgive you, but you better be ready. Huh? <laughs> the two bothered the crap out of me, like Kaho had warned me. They were even closer than before, and clearly way too close for comfort. You're too close! You're happy. You know you're alright with it. They rejected me, but they're going to go with him. They're going to regret that. Late night hospitals are terrifying. I'm not used to this at all. Wait, what's that voice? Is someone up this late? These are definitely you, right? D that's is that Akine-san and Kaho-san? S-Sis! I can't believe that the beautiful twins used to be delinquents back in the day. This is the greatest discovery of all time! <laughs> He's too much of a bad guy. Alright. Let's get into the brass tacks here. If you don't want me to show everyone these photos, you need to be my girlfriends. But, but that's not something you should ever do as a sane adult. Is that something you can say, delinquents? Ugh. If people find out about this, they might fire you. My father is the professor here. That's... Now I'm going to have fun with you two every day. I want you to swap out, huh? <laughs> I'm so excited. Akini-san! Kaho-san! Haruhiro-san... Did you hear that whole thing? Yes! I don't want to quit being a nurse. I love this job. Me neither. I'll do something about this, I swear! Huh? Leave it to me. This is nothing. So don't worry about a thing. I don't want these two to have to deal with this crap. We gotta do something! I started gathering information to shut the training doctor up. I'm sure that doctor's got some dirt on him, too. Luckily, I've got a lot of connections with all the other patients. Time to dig! I called out the training doctor the day before I was leaving the hospital. What is it? 
I'm going to be blunt with you. Stop threatening Akane-san and Kaho-san. Threatening? What are you- I know that you're threatening them using photos from when they were in school. You can't weasel your way out of this. So what? I'm just trying to build a win-win relationship with them. That's not how you use that phrase. Stop it right now! No, it's my freedom, a right, as the professor's son! I don't know about any of that. Whatever. If that's how you want to do this, then I have my ways too. What? I've gathered all the evidence of how you're abusing your position of power to hurt people. You're gonna be in a world of pain if people find out about this as well. What? Check and mate. Then you do what you want. I'm sure my dad will make that disappear too. There's no point in doing that. No way. Yes way. My father isn't just any professor. He's THE professor. But... What can I do? I heard everything. You're... Hayami-san?! What are you doing here?! Because I'm the owner and manager of this hospital. Huh?! You there. Please tell me that that's all made up. That's... No, it's all this fool's doing! This fool? What are you talking about? Haruhiro-kun is a hard-working young man. He's much more trustworthy than the likes of you. Uh -huh. You will be dealing with a formal hearing for disciplinary review. Be prepared. But... Apologize to Haruhiro-kun. You don't need to apologize to me. Just don't talk to Akine-san or Kaho-san anymore. Uh, fine. Haruhiro-kun, I'm looking forward to going to your store once you recover. I'm so thirsty for some of that sake. Sure thing! I'll find some rarities for you to drink. Afterwards, the two apologized to everyone that was involved in the incident. The training doctor was sent off to the middle of nowhere to fix his attitude. What a troublesome man. I mean... I'm going to be able to leave the hospital without any worries. So good timing. Huh? You two? What are you doing here? You saved us so we came here to repay you. Thank you so much. You really don't have to thank me. You should be thanking the hospital manager. I didn't do much at all. That's not true! It's all thanks to you! Akine-san... Haruhiro-san, we want to tell you something. Hmm? What is it? Yes, um, we love you. We love you a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, what?! 
calm down. <laughs> You're just as cute as ever. Uh, I'm not cute. Stay still. We're going to start our nightly exams. Nightly exams? Hey, Haruhiro-san? You gotta figure out who's better in bed, huh? Uh, I can't tell you that. I was able to make a full recovery and leave the hospital. As for Kaho and Akine... You two are here again, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Saki, please! We're going to stay in your room after we get drunk. 